Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you something really cool that Apple for some reason left out of all of their devices. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to actually install the real dashboard on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. The dashboard that I'm talking about is the widgets on the Mac. As you know, you have certain widgets. Well, I'll go ahead and show you right now on my Mac. As you know, you can go like this and hit the little dashboard button and you get all these widgets and it's really cool guys that's what dashboard is and I'm going to show you how you can actually install that on your iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad so you are going to need to be jailbroken to do this and this does work on 4.0 as I am on 4.0 right now if you are not jailbroken I'll have an annotation right there and also in the description so go ahead and jailbreak once you are jailbroken you're going to want to open up Cydia let it load up yours might take a little bit okay once it is open you want to make sure that you have the mod my iPhone source installed which is as you can see I have mine right there mod my the repo will be in the description to the mod my iPhone source so make sure you have that source added if you don't know how to add the source I will show you in a second after it reloads data if you don't know how to add the source, just hit edit in the upper left, or upper right, then hit add in the upper left, and you can add the source there. Once you have the Mod My iPhone source installed, go to search, hit search, type in dashboard. As you can see, it's right there. It has a little picture of a screwdriver in the left, and you click it, and up here where it says modify, yours will say install. So you're gonna click the you're gonna click install and then install it. Mine already is installed as you can see. And once you have that installed, you're just going to go to the home screen. Scroll to where it installed in your open space. And there it is, guys. As you can see, it says dashboard. It's a little black icon. Looks exactly like it does on the Mac. So go ahead and click that. And it'll open up. And as you can see, it actually looks like the real dashboard on the Mac, only on your iPhone. Now, I'm going to show you how this works. As you can see, if you hit the little plus right here, you get all of your all of your widgets, and you can scroll through them just like on the Mac. Also, you can hit Find New Widgets, and that will open up the actual website for widgets that Apple uses for their Mac. And now, not all of the widgets work on this website. Some of them do, but if one doesn't work, just don't be upset. because It's not just your device. It actually is the application for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Now... Something that I find buggy about this on the iPhone, iPod, on the iPhone and iPod Touch is that the screen just really isn't that big, so you can't really like it doesn't work in landscape on the iPod Touch and iPhone, so you can only use it in portrait mode, and it is kind of a little bit small for the screen to be scrolling through all of your widgets. As you can see, if I open up Weather here, it does get kind of buggy and kind of fills up the screen really fast. But as you can see, the animations are, are quite good. It looks pretty much like on the Mac. Go ahead and click it. If you want to move them around, all you have to do is click and hold. It becomes a little semi-transparent, and you can move it. So this is really cool, guys. This is dashboard for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Obviously, I think it is the best on the iPad, but it works, too, on the iPhone and iPod Touch. For some reason, Apple left this out of their firmware, but it does work. So go ahead and check it out. Again, the repo to this will be in the description, as well as the other links that I talked about in the video. So thanks for watching, and this helped you out in any way. Please rate thumbs up, and please subscribe. It's really easy. Just click the little button above the video. Also, follow me on Twitter and visit my website, both in the description. And I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out. Enjoy.